Remembering the Orangeburg Massacre On this day in 1968, South Carolina State Troopers opened fire on students protesting racial discrimination in Orangeburg, South Carolina, killing three and injuring 28. It all started with a segregated bowling alley, something that shouldn't have still existed in 1968. Nearby South Carolina State College students took the lead in demanding the bowling alley desegregate by leading sit-ins and protests. Tensions were high as the police presence grew in response to these actions. On the night of February 8th, 200 students gathered on campus to protest the racial discrimination and violence of the last few days. Chaos erupted as police started firing into the crowd when a shot from a deputy to calm the crowd startled police as they thought the shot came from protesters. Three young men lost their lives, Henry Smith, Samuel Hammond, and Delano Middleton. Over 28 others were wounded as they fled. No officer was convicted. This event was the first time police killed students on their own campus, two years before the Kent State Massacre. The tragedy did not gain much national attention and has been largely forgotten and suppressed. Today, we remember and stand with the brave protesters in the South who stood up and continue to stand up for racial justice in the face of state violence.